What's going on YouTube? You back here again with another video for you. Today's video, I'm about to go over the secrets, the Easter eggs, hidden features of the 2023 Acura Integra. So these are things that I didn't find in the manual. Actually, I didn't find these things out myself. Thanks to the commenters that commented on a few of the videos. So I just compiled the list and put them together and did the research on how to actually implement these features and these Easter eggs. So we're about to get into them. So I got five in this video with one bonus at the end. The reason I call them like secrets and hidden features, because sometimes these would be in the menu, but on this car is just nothing, probably in the, the driver manual, but who wants to go through 600 pages of all this information just to find something that you don't know is there. So I'll just break it down for you. Got five of them, about to start right now. So the first one's gonna be an Easter egg, and somebody commented on the video about that. Shout out to that person. Nah, I, I haven't seen this one yet, so we're about to see what this one looks like together. So this one is in the car, center console. You all probably know about this one, so let me get my stuff out of here. Shout out to Drew, business cards. Shout out to the wife, She's uh, her products are in stores now, so huge congrats to her. She's on the trip with that. I've been looking for this man <laughs> BMW video coming soon now and no I had all this stuff in here roadside assistance got that but once you take all this crap out and once you get to the bottom of this spill mat there's supposed to be an Easter egg in there all right pulling this thing out and on the bottom of this mat let's let me get you all let's let's take a good look all right there you go this is on the bottom of that spill mat the civic history goes on and this is an Integra this is how you know that you got a badge engineered car because it's the same part that's in the Civic and it's got the history of the Civic on there with the OG Honda Civic right there and it says Honda on there this is the Acura look at that flake in there that's looking good but yep that's the first Easter egg got a Civic on the bottom right here 2023 Acura Integra is the Civic underneath but we all know that so that's the first Easter egg Spill mat in the center console. This is the front of it. So this second feature is something I never toyed around with. I rarely play with on any of my cars. Actually, my 1990 BMW had it. It's a trick with the key, and I'll show you all with this car in just a minute. It's a different way to operate it, but it does the same thing. So this one is a secret feature, and that's how you roll down the windows in the sunroof on this car. So I'm about to show you that right now. And to do that, you take out your handy dandy accurate key and you press unlock once and then you press and hold it the second time all the windows come down sunroof opens up you just keep holding it when you want it to stop now I don't know if you can do the reverse which is close them but let's try let's do the the inverse of that press the lock button and then hold the lock button let's see if they roll up okay I guess they don't roll up so just rolling down you better be by the car when that happens let me try something else let's do the unlock and hold it again will they go up nope you gotta do it yourself just roll it down so this next hidden feature that I'm about to show you all is actually on my BMW and I don't know how to disable it I don't know if I like this feature or not but it was also on my Camaro as well so I'm about to just show you what it is and that's where you can get the the mirror to tilt as you go in reverse so it's a way to activate it this car did do it when i first had it and now it doesn't do it and i didn't understand why but now that i had to dig around i know how to do it and i'm about to show you all right now so this is how to get the passenger mirror to tilt when you go into reverse all right let me start the car up the people say crank the car up and push button starts i don't know but this is what we're going to do we're going to put the gear into reverse to the right and down so now we know that we're in reverse. And then we look at the mirror over there and it is not tilted, it is just straight. So let me do that again. Let me show you to where you can believe it. We got proof. Oh my God, people are calling me when I'm making videos. Get out of here. All right, so back to reverse again. Nothing happens and we got to deal with those park sensors. 
So in order to activate that tilting mirror on the side, what we have to do is, if you look at the mirror selection over here, it can't be on left, it can't be in center, it has to be on right. So click that all the way over to right. And now you can see, as we go into reverse, that mirror will tilt. Wow. And then when we're not in reverse, it goes back up. So let me demonstrate that again. Let me pull up that parking sensor is undefeated. So all right, now going to reverse and go over here. You can see the mirror tilt down. Can y'all see that? One more time for the people in the back, as they say in church. So you see it tilting up, going back to reverse, and it is going to tilt down. So just to do that, like I said, it's got to be in reverse. And you got to have this mirror selection, the mirror adjuster setter, it has to be on right. So if it's in the middle, it won't do it. See, as I just did that, the mirror just went back to the normal position. If I change that over to right, it'll go tilt right now. So that's interesting. Even if it's on left side, it won't do it. And the driver mirror, it just stays the same. And the BMW does this as well. I don't know how to do it in the BMW. The Camaro, I didn't know how to disable it. Not sure if I like it or not, because the rear camera kind of does most of the work for you. But this is a feature. It's there. I didn't know how to activate it. I guess I adjusted my mirrors at some point, And it started off in, on the right side, and it did tilt. But now it doesn't, because it was on the left side. So there we go. Tilt your passenger mirror while you're going to reverse. Good for curves. So this next tip, trick, secret not an easter egg so this is how to disable traction control and i actually made a short on this but my shorts don't get much traction so let me just put it in this video and i mentioned it in my zero to 60 video so what you want to do is to disable it so i got my foot on the brake right now so that's good so we're going to actually press the traction control button which is to the left of the steering wheel i'm about to explain it as i go through it so this whole time foot on the brake press the traction control button and then you press it again traction is off or it's limited so you do off and on so I'm going to still got my foot on the brake I'm going to activate the e-brake now foot off of the brake traction control off traction control on and now with the e-brake still engaged and I'm going to put my foot back on the brake I'm going to do it one more time they call this the pedal dance. Shout out to Vile Plume from Pokemon. Traction control off. Traction control on. And it should delete or take off VSC. All right, so my first attempt failed. It took me too long to do it. So I was trying to explain as I go along. But let me do it in the normal speed. So foot on brake, traction control off or reduce. Traction control on. Initiate the e-brake. Foot off the brake pedal. Traction show off, traction show on. Now I put my foot back on the brake pedal and do the same thing with the e brake engage. Traction show off, traction control on. Now you see VSA down there, so our traction show is completely disabled right now. Fully disabling the traction control really wakes up the car. You can put more power down. That's What's the point of having this limited slip differential if you can't put all the power down? You, you're able to put a lot more power down with the traction control off. Why would you do this in a front wheel drive car? Somebody asked me. I don't know. People do it. I didn't, I'm not the originator of it. I'm not the only one that's going to do it. People will do it after me. People do it. So that's how you disable traction control. The car is still like this is a very controllable car. You, I haven't like just slid off the road. Like even doing my zero to sixty, this limited slip is so good in here. The car just goes in the direction that you point it. When you lose traction in a front wheel drive car, just foot off the accelerator and slow down till you are not understanding anymore. So there you have it, disabling traction control. So when you want to turn traction control back on, you just press the button, the traction control button. Now everything is back to normal. And as you can see, just pressing the button, you got to hold it for like one second. It says traction control reduced, so it doesn't automatically take it all the way off. It's just reduced. The next secret feature we got on this list 
is service mode for the wipers or like if it's about to snow you want to have your wipers up so they don't get stuck to the windshield or if you're about to replace your wiper blades that's what this is going to be for so first thing you got to do the car has to be on and then you turn the car off and then within 10 seconds you got to hold this in mist mode and then your wipers are up. So mist mode on the wiper stalk is in the up position. You gotta hold it for like two seconds. And as you can see, the wipers are just up. So shout out to the person that pointed that out in the comment section, cause I just kind of pulled them over and pulled them up, but you don't want to do that, it damages the motor. So now if I wanna wash my car with my wipers up, I just do that and they stay in this mode right here. And then to get those to come back down, I'm gonna go back in the car. Let's see what we gotta do. So how do I get them to come back now? I don't know, let's just turn the car on and see what happens. All right, do I gotta start the car all the way up? They're still gonna stay that way, so let me just flick the wiper. We back now. Wanna do it again, car off. Hold this thing up for a couple seconds. Boom, and we're there. That's it. Can I make them come down while it's up there? Nope, gotta turn the car back on. And we got this Integra embossed into the front bumper. Paying homage to the original. And we got Acura all up in that headlight. Little bitty Easter egg. It's on the back side as well. So the final hidden feature in this car. This is a luxury car. I told y'all that. This is a real true luxury car. So the last two. I don't think I heard anybody talk about it. People have been like kind of close. But warm but not hot. So here we go. This final feature. We got sauna mode in here. And how do you get to sauna mode? It's easy. On a hot day, you just get in the back seat. You just sit down back here. And that's kind of it. Because there's no rear vents back here. So you just sit back here and boil. On those hot, blistering summer days, you just come into the back seat of your Integra. Even if the, the HVAC is going on, the air is blowing up front, you might not feel it back here because you got no vents. So you're not going to feel it in your face. Uh-oh. But that's that's what we got sauna mode so inversely the sauna mode i told y'all this is a true luxury car we're going to go up front we got the opposite of that we got frostbite mode and right now we're in frostbite mode season it's 40 degrees out here now i'm not sure who would actually want frostbite mode because i don't know if you ever experienced frostbite before that is very uncomfortable something you don't like but acura got you man we looking out for you here at acura so in this car Frostbite mode, you come out here on a very chilly day, like maybe 15 degrees, hold on to your steering wheel with no gloves, hold on to this metal shifter with no gloves on, please don't have moisturized hands or your hand might get stuck to this thing. To initiate frostbite mode, you want to look at the absence of your heated steering wheel. And that's all you got to do. So you can press your invisible heated steering wheel button. And then this thing's already, you ain't got to do nothing. That's an automatic feature. That's auto frostbite mode. But you look at that steering wheel, beautiful steering wheel, which doesn't come standard with a heated steering wheel button. And you just drive, boom, frostbite. So those are the secret features, hidden features, Easter eggs of the 2023 Acura Integra. If you got any more, drop a comment, let me know. That's all I was able to find. Shout out to everybody, my supporters that commented on the videos. This video wouldn't be possible without you all because I didn't even know most of these things existed. So y'all help me just compile this list, come up with these features. That's on the mode and, and frostbite mode. That was all me though. Coined that term. Trademark pending. But yeah, we are cruising with the mileage on the Integra. I still drive it. I just rotate cars on the weeks. The Integra is this week. And it's like still fun. Even after driving the M2, the Integra is still a very fun car to drive. Like I some cars I have owned, it's like, man, I got to go back to driving this car now. But the Integra is not like that. I still enjoy it. Family still enjoys riding in it. And it's just comfortable, sporty. It's not fast in the straight line, but we all know that. But that's all I got for you on today's video. Don't forget to check out my channel, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.